on August 19th, 2022, I put up this tweet and I got a pretty good response from it because a lot of people agreed with what I had to say. And it pretty much speaks for itself. I said, has anyone noticed the main people overusing the word woke are the ones who complain about it the most? And notice I just did a video about Ron the Snowflake, as I like to call him, where he said or was implementing something called the Stop Woke Act. And we know exactly where that is coming from. And we know exactly what it means. The word woke as far as how it was used in its infancy stages or at its foundational state st stages was for black people to be aware about their surroundings and be aware about the world around them and the people in it. But then over the years, like a lot of things that black people come up with, it has been taken, stolen, sometimes given away. And then twisted and formed into something that is not familiar. And we know who the main people who were that took this. Unfortunately, you have some black people that now have gravitated to the same definition as the ones that have taken and twisted it up like a pretzel and bastardized it into what it is today to the point where I don't even like using this word. It's gotten to that point. I do not like using this word. As a matter of fact, I first got exposed to the word woke, I think, when I was in college. It had to be probably around that time. And mind you, I went to college between the years of 2007 and 2011. So it's been over 10 years since I've been graduated from college and well more than 10 years since I started, since I first enrolled or first went. And it's amazing how a word or even a terminology or even a phrase can change over time once a certain group gets a hold of it. I mean, look at what they did with Dr. King's image. Like they literally bastardized this man's memory and his image and and they flip it and turn it into what we have today. That's why a lot of black people love to gatekeep a lot of things or have to learn how to gatekeep things, because when you don't, this is what happens. And then when you call them out on it, they make it seem like you're the bad guy. But one of the reasons why I'm making this video, and I don't know how long this video is going to be, hopefully it's not too long because I really want to get straight to the point, is that not only am I piggybacking off of what I said, but I'm adding on to it. Now, it says right here that they are the main ones who complain about it the most, meaning they're the ones that talk about it. As, as a matter of fact, that Ryan Cannell, who I stay going in on, unfortunately, because I, it is what it is, is one of the main ones. These individuals who claim they don't like woke this, they don't like woke that, or they're anti-woke this and they're anti-woke that. I'm going to be completely honest with you. They actually love the woke stuff. Oh, yes, I said it. The ones who cl complain about it the most love it the most. And you're probably wondering, why am I saying that? The reason why is because of, well, a few things. One, they built an audience about talking about anti-woke stuff. Or saying something is woke and they want to be anti-woke. So they built an audience around it. Two, they get attention every time they talk about it. And three, and this is probably the biggest one, they make money off of it. That's probably the biggest one out of the three is the money aspect of it. You don't think that Ryan Cannell doesn't enjoy making money when every time he talks about something being so woke or the go woke, go broke thing. And not just him or people over at Geeks and Gamers, but anybody. They love that. As a matter of fact, they could if they could, they would be in bed with it right now. They are in love and in lust with that word and how they flipped it into what it is. And be, let's be real here. If woke didn't exist, what would they talk about? If their iteration of the word woke did not exist, what on earth would they talk about? Because a lot of their stuff is literally 
conducive and surrounded around it. So they have to bank on something being quote unquote woke to come out or be spoken about so they can have content to discuss. Now, I didn't mean to go into the thing of just like mentioning him. I really didn't want to. But, you know, like I said, this is just a a ramble, I guess you can say. I'm just liable to say just about anything as long as it remains on topic. But the point of the matter is a lot of the people that complain about woke aren't mad that aren't mad at wokeness itself because they need it. That's how they uh, get eyes to their content. That's how they continue to get people to go to their content, subscribe to them, all these other things. They need the same thing that they hate so much. They lust after Because it brings them views and it brings them money. If woke was to just if their iteration of the word woke or their philosophy around woke was to die today. What would they talk about if there was no more woke content being pushed or put out there or the other one SJW, which stands for social justice war. That's another one they like to use. If that was not being pumped out anymore, like let's just say that we wake up tomorrow and woke stuff and SJW stuff was to go away like the dinosaur and the dodo bird. What would they talk about? What would their content be based off of? Would they have to reach back into their archives and talk about old stuff? You would have to they would have to push forward. But what would they push forward with? Because they created they surround they created a stick and they surrounded it around that niche. And now that's what people gravitate towards them for. They can't get out of it. They talk about everything and just and try to call it woke this and woke that. Honestly, I believe many of them go in search of the quote unquote woke stuff that they hate just to talk about it. I mean, think about it. a lot of stuff that they talk about. It's not even quote unquote woke by their standards. But if they can put a spin on it. And they know their audience will gravitate towards it. They'll say it, even if none of it and a lot of the times many of it isn't makes no sense. Like for for me, this is probably the most time I've said woke is and it's only because I'm making it a focal point in this video. I can't remember the last time I used the word woke in the video, except when I was addressing Ryan Keno. See, I have to address someone who overuses the word and over bastardizes a word in order for me to continue to use it. But outside of that, you don't see me really use it, if ever, in any of my other content. Shoot, this might be one of the first times you see it in the thumbnail. Outside, of course, you know, the one I did just did on uh, Ryan the Snowflake. And many could say that he's pushing an agenda with his so-called stop woke act that I'm glad got blocked by that judge. They always say, don't be a victim and all types of stuff like this. But look at what he's doing. He's trying to make white people a victim. And say that they're so oppressed. But when black people say it and actually have genuine legs to stand on, we're being woke. We're being divisive. We're being SJWs and all this other crap. I I mean, if I wasn't already laughing at them before, I'm laughing at them now because they are a joke. An embarrassment, honestly, at this point. I'm sure their ancestors are rolling in their grave. And how weak their mindset has become. I, on the other hand, could give two fucks. Wholeheartedly. And completely and utterly honestly. But yeah, they. <laughs> but it, but I would say more than anything, hearing them, them say it, not so much to say it, but. In the tone that they use it, it gets annoying. It's been actually it's been past annoying, honestly. It's already there. But it's just like, my God, give it a rest. We get it. Many of you don't like black people. Okay, you don't have to say that it's being woke when a black person gets casted in a certain film or movie or some kind of geek pop culture, whatever that you love so much. And you don't like the insert of a black person there and then call it woke. We know your lingo by now. 
your iteration of the word woke means anti-black. Remember, this is the same Ryan Keno who said when the Batman came out, there were so many good black people, but and only two good white people and all the other white people were bad, like were villains. The same guy who said that I'm a man. If I have to ever continue to do commentaries just based on him, I'm gonna always bring that up. But he wants to talk about woke this and woke that and stop being a victim. You just literally victimize yourself. And those of your ilk when you said that. And he felt it was nothing wrong and then tried to white explain it. And it it made it sound even worse. And of of course, his constituents are going to be on his side. But many of them are idiots their damn selves. But it is what it is. It's It's like a hive mind. They have that hive mindset. What one thinks everyone else should think. And if you don't think that, then you're out of the hive. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. Like I said, I didn't want to make this too long because I didn't want to feel like I was going to start repeating myself. But I think by now, y'all pretty much get it. And if y'all didn't catch it, I'll say it again. They don't want wokeness to go away. They need it because it gives them views, attention, and most of all money. If wokeness, by their definition, goes away, that's it. So they feed off of this woke stuff, this SJW stuff that they claim to hate so much that they really don't. They probably hate it in the aspect of what it has become, but they don't hate it in the fact that they know it can still bring them income. So either way, they need it. They have to feed off of it like a leech. Because if you take it away, what are they left with? Now they got to create some actual real content. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.